Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Prince William and Prince Harry have always been as close as can be. Growing up in the spotlight can't be easy, and when you add in the fact that they were very young when they lost their mother, Princess Diana, it is not too surprising that they have always leaned on each other over the years. Prince William, who is the future king, is a great big brother, and there is no doubt that he has guided and supported Prince Harry as much as possible. Fans have seen many pictures of them during the course of their lives, laughing, having fun, and enjoying each other's company, and the brothers have always been favorites of millions of people around the world. Ever since Meghan, Duchess of Sussex and Prince Harry stepped down from their duties as senior royals, things have been a bit tense with the family. There were supposedly several rifts and some sources, even go so far as to say that Prince William and Prince Harry weren't even on speaking terms. Now, the Sussexes have moved thousands of miles away to Los Angeles, and a royal expert says that Prince William and Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, miss Prince Harry more. Prince Harry and Meghan's resignation. In one of the first shocking events of 2020, Meghan and Prince Harry made the unexpected announcement that they were stepping down from their positions and wanted to become independent. It was hard on everyone, in particular, Prince William and Kate, who had to take on even more work in order to cover for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. There was some reported friction between the two couples. Today reports that there was some noticeable frostiness at the Sussex's final royal event. We can only imagine that no one was happy about Meghan and Prince Harry leaving, especially since their resignation meant that they would be moving to another country altogether. Were Prince William and Prince Harry feuding? For a long time, there were many reports that talked about a supposed feud between Meghan and Kate. It all started shortly after Meghan and Prince Harry's wedding, with people saying that the new sisters-in-law just couldn't get along. Rulers of a rift between the duchesses were eventually put to rest, and the entire world was surprised to discover that the real feud was between Prince William and Prince Harry. There was quite a bit of drama going on behind palace walls, and it all started when Prince William expressed concern that Prince Harry's relationship with Meghan was moving too quickly. Prince Harry, in return, felt that his older brother wasn't treating Meghan as well as she deserved, and he didn't hesitate to voice his opinion. Things continued to escalate from there, and even though Prince William stood by Prince Harry's side when he married the former American actress behind the scenes, their relationship was falling apart. Prince William and Kate Miss Prince Harry Moore After spending some time in Canada, where many fans thought that Meghan and Prince Harry would stay permanently, they decided to head to Meghan's hometown of Los Angeles to begin the next chapter of their lives. Los Angeles and London are thousands of miles apart, at least a 10-hour plane ride. It looks as though after Meghan and Prince Harry packed up and moved across the pond, that Prince William and Kate realized just how much they missed them. Although they most likely wish things would have worked out differently, a royal expert says that they actually miss Prince Harry a bit more. Royal expert Katie Nichols said, The Sussexes are free to get on with their new lives, and the Cambridges can get back to their old lives without all the upset and drama that was clearly a big deal behind the scenes. I think Kate and William miss Harry and Meghan to a degree but certainly they miss Harry being around and part of their lives. It is natural for the Cambridges to miss Prince Harry more. This isn't shade thrown at Meghan or a reflection on her. After all, the Duke of Cambridge grew up with Prince Harry, so it's only natural he misses his brother more. As for the Duchess of Cambridge, she also spent more time with Prince Harry than Meghan. Back when Kate got engaged to Prince William, Prince Harry paid her a grand compliment and said she was the big sister he never had. 
The two had a strong relationship, so suffice to say the move was significant for Kate and Prince Harry. A source told Nickel. To be honest, I think Kate has taken it all badly. She, Harry, and William were once such a happy trio. She thinks what has happened is all very sad. What's more, Kate reportedly came clean with Prince Harry about how she feels. A source told Woman's Day New Zealand. Kate knew it could be the final opportunity to air her feelings, and she was incredibly emotional. Apparently, she fought back tears as she told them how their lack of communication and contact both before and after they moved to Canada had been devastating for them and how they felt completely shut out of their lives. Kate told Harry how she felt like she'd lost a brother too. There is a lot going on in the royal family and the two brothers are finally back in touch, which has fans thrilled. Another analysis, royal fans know that things weren't that easy for Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, when it came to the media's criticism of her, but, according to one insider, Meghan felt like an outsider in the royal family, and even believed there was a conspiracy against her. Prince Harry and Meghan left their royal life behind. During interviews for their 2019 documentary Harry and Meghan, an African journey, it appeared that the couple were struggling with the media scrutiny. At the time, Meghan remarked, I never thought that this would be easy, but I thought it would be fair, and that is the part that is really hard to reconcile. In January, the Sussexes announced that they planned to take a step back from their royal duties in hopes of living a more normal life out of the spotlight. Queen Elizabeth supported the decision and quickly worked to ensure they could finalize a deal that would grant the couple their wish. Meghan reportedly felt like an outsider. Royal reporter Katie Nichol shared some insider perspectives about Meghan's struggle in the Times, as a source shared with her how Meghan believed there was a conspiracy against her and she felt like an outsider. The source told Nichol, she was convinced there was a conspiracy against her, and so she basically put herself in isolation when they moved to Frogmore. I think she felt like an outsider from the start. This wasn't the life she was used to, and she wanted out. Another source claimed that Meghan struggled with the idea of not personally working for an income, and felt lonely and unfulfilled. One of the things Meghan struggled with was not earning an income. She has always worked, and I think she felt unfulfilled. Having financial freedom was a big part of them wanting to leave, the insider shared. Nicole noted that Meghan's friends worried about the Duchess burning out as she attempted to do something fulfilling, both guest, editing an issue of Vogue magazine, and launching the SmartWorks collection. Prince Harry and Meghan may have had an agenda the whole time. Prince Harry and Meghan's decision to leave, the royal family might have been a surprise to many, but Nicole believes the couple always had an exit in mind. Nicole shared with LMT Channel. The speed at which the Sussexes have turned their lives around has surprised everybody. I don't think it's a huge surprise they moved overseas. That was inevitable. I think the speed at which it's happened has surprised people, she added. The fact that the Sussexes didn't become international roving royals, as they had hoped, according to Nickel, contributed to how quickly they made their exit. They had an agenda from the outset to be international royals. They didn't want to just be stuck in one place, Nickel noted. Part of their vision is to be making a difference on the world stage, and that entails being international. I was told from a very early stage in their courtship, they had told a friend of Harry's that Meghan met quite early on that they wanted to be international roving royals and that was going to be their focus. When things didn't pan out as they hoped, they resorted to the idea of leaving their royal duties. Nicole noted, I think this idea that they were going to move away and work overseas was always on the cards, but as I say, the speed at which it's happened has definitely so there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening.
don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell if you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.